Welcome to our video on the blood cancers you should know about. In this video, we will explore different types of blood cancers that can have a significant impact on one's health and well-being. Blood cancers, also known as hematologic cancers, originate in the cells of the blood and bone marrow. They affect the production and function of blood cells, disrupting the body's normal blood circulation and immune system. While there are several types of blood cancers, we will focus on the most common ones. Understanding these blood cancers is crucial, as they affect millions of individuals worldwide and can have a profound impact on their lives. By familiarizing ourselves with their signs, symptoms, and treatment options, we can empower ourselves and our loved ones to take proactive steps in managing and addressing these conditions. Throughout this video, we will delve into various blood cancers and discuss their distinctive features, risk factors, diagnostic methods, and the latest advancements in treatment options. By raising awareness about these blood cancers, we hope to equip you with valuable knowledge that can aid in early detection, prompt medical intervention, and improved quality of life for those affected by these conditions. Before we begin, please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for future updates. Your support is vital in helping us continue our mission of spreading awareness and knowledge about crucial health matters. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of blood cancers and explore the vital information you need to know. Together, we can make a difference in the fight against these diseases and support those affected on their journey to better health. First on our list is leukemia. Leukemia, an intricate and formidable type of cancer that disrupts the harmony within our body, can be likened to a disruptive force in the team. It arises when certain white blood cells begin to multiply excessively, overtaking the healthy blood cells necessary for our body's proper functioning. Understanding the different types of leukemia including acute lymphoblastic leukemia AL, acute myeloid leukemia AML, chronic lymphocytic leukemia CLL, and chronic myeloid leukemia CML, allows us to grasp the diverse nature of this condition. All, often seen as the troublemaker, primarily affects children. Its rapid progression can lead to chaos within the body in a short span of time. On the other hand, AML acts like a rebel, causing havoc and disruption. It requires immediate attention to regain control. CLL, however, takes a more subtle approach, slowly weakening the immune system, particularly in older individuals. Lastly, CML lurks like a ticking time bomb within our bone marrow, demanding swift intervention to prevent complications. Extensive research and scientific advancements have shed light on leukemia, enabling us to combat it more effectively. Researchers and medical professionals have made significant discoveries, unveiling special medicines that specifically target the abnormal cells responsible for leukemia. These targeted therapies offer hope and a path towards better health outcomes. Recognizing the signs and symptoms of leukemia at an early stage is vital. Symptoms may include unexplained fatigue, frequent infections, easy bruising or bleeding, bone pain, and swollen lymph nodes. Identifying these warning signs allows for timely intervention, leading to appropriate treatment and the necessary support. The fight against leukemia is ongoing, and by spreading awareness and knowledge, we can empower individuals to seek medical attention promptly. Together, we can navigate the complexities of leukemia, support one another, and contribute to ongoing research efforts aimed at improving treatment options and enhancing the quality of life for those affected by this challenging disease. The next type of blood cancer is lymphoma. Lymphoma, an enigmatic cancer that hides within the intricate network of our lymphatic system, disrupts the delicate balance of our body's defense mechanisms. It all starts when our lymphocytes, the brave warriors of our immune system, go rogue and begin multiplying uncontrollably. There are two primary types of lymphoma, Hodgkin lymphoma and non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Hodgkin lymphoma, like a rare superstar, accounts for a smaller percentage of cases, but is characterized by the presence of specific abnormal cells, called Reed-Sternberg cells. On the other hand, non-Hodgkin lymphoma, more common and diverse, encompasses a wide array of subtypes with varying characteristics and behaviors. 
Lymphoma can wreak havoc by interfering with the normal functioning of the lymphatic system, compromising its ability to combat infections effectively. This disruption can lead to symptoms such as swollen lymph nodes, unexplained fevers, night sweats, and unintended weight loss. Additionally, lymphoma can affect other organs and tissues as the abnormal lymphocytes spread throughout the body. Thanks to decades of dedicated research, remarkable progress has been made in the field of lymphoma treatment. Treatment approaches range from chemotherapy and radiation therapy to targeted therapies that specifically attack cancer cells, sparing healthy ones. In recent years, immunotherapy, which harnesses the power of the immune system to fight cancer, has shown promising results in certain cases. Next is multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma, a cunning cancer that targets our plasma cells, disrupts the delicate balance of our immune system. These mischievous cells, responsible for producing essential antibodies that fight off infections, go rogue in this condition. Instead of functioning properly, abnormal plasma cells start accumulating in the bone marrow, overpowering the healthy cells and wreaking havoc on our immune defenses. As these rogue cells multiply, they can cause a range of problems. They crowd out the production of other important blood cells like red blood cells and platelets, leading to anemia and a higher risk of bleeding and bruising. Additionally, the accumulation of abnormal plasma cells can weaken our immune system, making us more susceptible to infections. Multiple myeloma often presents with symptoms such as bone pain, especially in the back or ribs, unexplained fatigue, recurrent infections, and kidney problems. Early detection and diagnosis are crucial in managing the disease and improving outcomes. While multiple myeloma is a challenging cancer, advancements in treatment have significantly improved the prognosis for many patients. Treatment approaches may include chemotherapy, targeted therapies, immunotherapy, stem cell transplantation, and supportive care measures. Personalized treatment plans are developed based on factors such as the stage of the disease, overall health, and individual patient preferences. Next on our list is myelodysplastic syndromes, MDS. Myelodysplastic syndromes, MDS, are a complex group of conditions that disrupt the normal production of healthy blood cells in the bone marrow. In this condition, the bone marrow fails to generate an adequate number of fully mature and functional blood cells, leading to a deficiency of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Think of the bone marrow as a bustling factory responsible for producing our essential blood cells. However, in MDS, this factory encounters some glitches in its production line. The immature cells may not mature properly, and some cells may have genetic abnormalities, impairing their ability to carry out their crucial tasks in the body. The consequences of MDS can be far-reaching. With a shortage of red blood cells, anemia can occur, causing fatigue, weakness, and shortness of breath. The deficiency of white blood cells weakens the immune system, making individuals more susceptible to infections. Similarly, low platelet counts can result in increased bleeding and bruising tendencies. MDS is a complex condition with various subtypes, each characterized by its unique characteristics and progression patterns. Accurate diagnosis and classification are essential in determining the most appropriate treatment approach for an individual. While MDS can be challenging, advancements in treatment options have improved outcomes for many patients. Treatment strategies may include blood transfusions, medications to stimulate blood cell production, targeted therapies, and in some cases, stem cell transplantation. Last but not the least is myeloproliferative neoplasms, MPNs. Myeloproliferative neoplasms, MPNs, form a unique group of rare blood cancers that disrupt the normal balance of blood cell production in the bone marrow. In these conditions, there is an abnormal overproduction of blood cells, including red blood cells, white blood cells, or platelets. Imagine the bone marrow as a bustling factory responsible for producing our essential blood cells. In MPNs, this factory goes into overdrive, churning out an excessive number of blood cells. This uncontrolled growth can lead to various complications and affect the overall functioning of our body. There are different types of MPNs, each with its own distinct characteristics. 
Polycythemia vera is characterized by the overproduction of red blood cells. Essential thrombocythemia involves the excessive production of platelets, and primary myelofibrosis leads to the abnormal growth of fibrous tissue in the bone marrow, disrupting the normal blood cell production process. These conditions can present with a range of symptoms, including fatigue, weakness, headaches, enlarged spleen, and increased risk of blood clotting or bleeding. While MPNs are chronic conditions, meaning they persist over time, advancements in understanding and treatment have greatly improved outcomes for many patients. Treatment approaches for MPNs aim to manage symptoms, prevent complications, and reduce the risk of disease progression. Therapies may include medications to control blood cell production, blood thinners to prevent clotting, and in some cases, bone marrow transplantation. And there you have it, the blood cancers you should know about. Understanding the different types of blood cancers is crucial for early detection, proper diagnosis, and effective treatment. Leukemia, lymphoma, multiple myeloma, myelodysplastic syndromes, and myeloproliferative neoplasms are complex conditions that require medical attention and support. If you found this video informative and valuable, we would greatly appreciate your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Your engagement helps us continue creating educational content on important health topics. We would also like to express our gratitude to our Super Thanks supporters. Your contributions make a significant impact in enabling us to provide accessible health education to a wider audience. Now we invite you to join the conversation. Have you or someone you know been affected by a blood cancer? Share your experiences, questions, or thoughts in the comments below. Together, we can create a supportive community, offer insights, and provide encouragement to those going through similar journeys. Thank you for watching, and remember, knowledge is power when it comes to understanding and fighting blood cancers. Stay informed, stay proactive, and take care of your health.